opportunity for the creative community. Almost complete, one photo left. The yellow photo. Hey guys, and welcome to another episode, a little quick one here, uh, where I talk about my photography equipment, what I take with me. Now this case you see here is the SKB series case. Um, I'm not exactly sure which one it is, but it's the one that fits in the overhead bin on airplanes. Uh, it, I mean, it's really nice to be able to take it with you. Um, it has uh, wheels and a handle that you can expand just like any other normal piece of, you know, uh, airplane luggage. Uh, it's, it's waterproof, it's crush proof to a certain extent, obviously. And I mean, it's, uh, you know, it's been with me for a lot of trips, as you can see here, it's well loved, but I mean, this case is really awesome. It's not the cheapest, but I think it's the best. Uh, it also doesn't come with this, but you can add it where you can add locks onto the latches. And these are just TSA locks that, uh, you know, TSA can open up if they need to, but I have uh, keys with me to, to lock them and unlock them. Uh, it's really nice and convenient to be instead of putting you know these huge locks on here You actually have something that's just built into the latch. They're always there. They're always ready to be locked you, You're not going to accidentally leave this one behind so it works out well So has a handle up here has a handle over here All around really great cases a lot of reviews made by these cases But th there'll be a link for it uh, for Amazon down in the description below um, but yeah, so the nice thing about this case really draw me to this one specifically is because the inside here, if I can zip it up, is removable. And with its removable, oops, it's a backpack that you can um, put on a zip up and hike with. Very comfortable and very secure. That was a that was a big selling point for me when I when I got this case is that I could just what take out the inside and take it with me if I needed to hike down a trail, which you know I often do, to get the perfect shot. It makes it really convenient. You just leave it in the case and flip it open. Then you have some storage here, right? Then you have some uh, all the big dividers here. So this is the first. This is my uh, Black Rapid uh, sling case or sling. Um, Uh, uh, camera leash, I guess. This one is nice because it has the option. I have another one here uh, buckled in for a second camera. So this one slings over my shoulder and this one can be hooked into here and here and add you a second camera with the same strap. Put that right there. And then of course this is, uh, this is my primary shooter that I shoot with. This is the Sony a7 Mark III. Um, and then also, I primarily shoot with this one. This is the uh, 7200 f4 lens. This is the uh, the workhorse of the uh, most camera systems, honestly. See, so I got uh, another. Uh, this is a prime lens. This is a f uh, or 28 f2 that I like to use a lot. Uh, Godox. I love Godox flashes. They are they're godsend for sure. Um, it's just, it's a really great system. It all integrates well using one um, transmitter to all of my uh, flashes. I've got more that's over in the, um, there's a, a camera, a flash case that I'm also reviewing in another video. And uh, you know, you, you'll see more Godox products and all of them can be controlled with this one, but not only controlled with flash, but also uh, intensity, uh, zoom, TTL, all of that is right from here. So I don't have to get up and walk around to another flash anymore to manually adjust it. That's the worst. So this is a, um, I use MagMod 2 as modifiers for most of my flash equipment. This is uh, what this is called the Mag Dome. So this fits on, you know, this is a standard MagMod uh, grip. Fits on all flashes kind of universally. And it just uses magnets to attach. 
something really simple, really easy modifier to use for almost any situation that I come across where I need a little bit softer light. Now it's not going to make it like softbox soft, but it will help out a lot in a lot of other situations that you have going on. So there's that. Um, lens hood for the, uh, for the lens. Let's see, this is a, a programmable, um, man, I can't even think or talk today. This is a, a programmable trigger right here. So this plugs into the camera. This can stay in my pocket and I can just do something as simple as remotely click the shutter or I can do uh, durations. So it's an info, info lamometer. Yeah, something like that. So here I have a, uh, a Sony specifically uh, microphone that just plugs into the top of the camera and if I need a little bit better audio than obviously the built-in camera when if I can't use a uh, lapel mic like I'm using right now uh, you know I'll use something like this it works out pretty well so lens wipes are always good to have on handy uh, that's the uh, the base for you know standard flash here's some batteries for the transmitter uh, the Godox flash doesn't use double A's it uses um, which is just a, uh, a lithium ion rechargeable battery. It's really nice. And I have never been to an event or shoot where I've, you know, depleted that one battery. So it's, it's a really good long, long lived battery. There's triple A's right there. Here's the, uh, uh, the mount for the 70 to 200 tripod mount. This guy, I'm going to talk about this guy for a second. So this guy goes onto your belt, right? It just clips on and rotates. And you use this when you don't have an assistant to help you out. So if you need to take another lens with you, right, you just uh, line up the white dots, rotate, and it locks in just like it would lock into your camera. So it's not going to move, and it's, it's steady there. And you take this and you move it around, and you say, well, I need to change the lens out on my camera and put this one on. You can do it one-handed because this is mounted to your belt. You take off that lens, click it in place, turn it around, and then you take this, and then put it on your camera. It's just that simple. And it's all done with a one-handed operation, so you don't have to worry about, um, you know, getting dust or putting something down, kicking it, dropping it, all of it's very secure with this guy. Uh, I definitely recommend getting one of these. This is a peak design. Definitely worthwhile investment. Here's another worthwhile investment. I'm pretty sure this is a Pelican. I've covered it up with my branding. But this is a uh, crush proof, waterproof case for all of your SD cards. So you can see that I have a little rubber gasket around here. Um, this is invaluable for anything that you have. I, I've numbered all of my cards that I use. Um, but you know, if you, uh, you need extra cards, I always have this in my, in my case. I always have it where I can pick it up and use it, put another card in, and I'm good to go. I'm back in the game. Uh, extra battery. So I have a battery grip obviously for my camera. So they use two at a time. And then I have two more fully charged batteries already into another magazine ready to be put into that grip at a moment's notice. Uh, these batteries and that camera last a long time. So I've never had a problem with it. I've never gone through a wedding where I need to replace one of these mid event. Uh, I've gotten close a couple of times, but this has been, this is great. So, you know, I get home and I can charge them up and I'll be good to go. Um, these are just, you know, more wipes and cases and stuff. Headlamps. Yes, this headlamp is great because the first, maybe it's not the first option. Yes, here we go. This is a, a red light. So you can have a red light when you're out hiking at night, when you're outside doing astrophotography or whatever, you need to use a red light to see so it doesn't mess up your night vision. Um, so having a headlamp like this is great. Um, it also provides, you know, hands-free lighting operations when I'm, you know, doing a lot of hiking or astrophotography work. So it's always good to have it in your, in your bag, just in case. Um, so the connector for the, uh, the wireless trigger this is something I've had as kind of a relic from, uh, old Sony days. It was just an infrared, a shutter. You just put it in front of the camera and, and click it. So I guess it was thing if you were in a group or something and you know, you're far away and just click that and it'll take a picture, but that's a backup for that in case this is a, uh, a lapel mic. So if I'm using 
um, I want to use audio from the camera and I need to mic up talent or someone I'm interviewing. I have another lapel mic right here that I plug directly into the camera to get audio from. And, it, you know, obviously it's a lapel mic is going to be far superior to the audio that I'm going to get, uh, you know, from the in-body microphone, which as we all know, it's not that great. We talked about this too. This is the other one for the Black Rapid. Uh, these are kind of nice to have. These are, um, you know, this is a, uh, a body cap, cap and these are, you know, lens caps and a body cap that's been put together. These are good to have. You need to take off a lens and, you know, you don't want dirt to get in. It's always good to have extras of that stuff. And that deals for the main compartment in here. And um, so what I have in here is I have another brand new batteries, AAAs, just in case. Samantha, if you're watching this, this is for you. Uh -huh. Yeah, brand new hair ties. You never know when you need them. Usually I try and get models to avoid wearing them, but memory cards. Here's a brand new purchased memory cards, you know, pair that I have. Um, it's always good to have this in case one of your cards fails. You need brand new, clean, unopened cards. Boom, there you go. You always have it with you, always easily accessible, ready to go. So, you know, I have some books of... Um, you know, this is for the trigger remote. Yes, it is that thick for a wireless trigger because it's programmable. So any functionality I need to look up in here, I can. And then I just have, you know, standard, you know, lined paper that I could write in uh, to give me some more information. That's really good to have. And then of course, branding, right? Branding is very important for any photographer out there. So you need to make sure you have a whole stack of business cards that's important to have and then you know a few little baubles you know a few little odds and ends I mean here's a, a good writing light if you need to write um, you know long exposure photography you want to you know add some light in there that's good to have uh, you know this is another mount for um, you know my quick release system for all of my camera gear uh, you know, this plugs into my iPhone where I can um, have an SD memory card in there and I can transfer, transfer pictures manually that way if Wi-Fi is not working for me. And then, you know, just some odds and ends and ev I try and keep a lot of this stuff so I can have anchors, uh, you know, really just odds, odds and ends of e anything small that I need that I might need with me on set is right there. And that's everything. That, that This is everything that I bring to me with every single shoot that's not specific and specific shoots get a little bit better get a little bit more in depth and I, I've got a tripod that I bring with me um, light stands um, you know sandbags all of that stuff is is stuff that could be involved and I won't get into in this one this is specifically just to show what's in this case right here what do I bring with me to every single shoot one of the things that I did forget is in this section up here This is a white balance card. So it has three different cards in here that are for you to help color match your photos <coughs> post-production. And so um, you use these colors, these cards in, in post-production, you'd be able to tell like this is what black is, this is what white is, and this is what you know gray is. Really nice and re really great card to have on you. You know, when you start taking pictures with flash, you have the model hold this up, you take a picture with it, and then you can put it away. As long as you don't adjust the lights anymore, you're going to get the same consistent color results every time. And, I mean, yeah, that's it. This is everything right here. What you see is uh, pretty much everything that I bring with me to every shoot that I ever go on. So, All right, so what we're going to do now is a uh, time lapse of taking all this stuff and putting it back into here. So we're going to go from there, and I'll see you back here in a second. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Please uh, like this video and follow if you want to see more content like this. I try and do updates uh, periodically as much as I can to give you more updates on equipment. So, And please, in the comment section, let me know if you have any questions about some of the equipment I have. And I'll start doing more in-depth reviews of, of all the stuff that I have as time goes on and per request, obviously. So thank you so much. Have a great day.